are you assuming interest rates are going to go up significantly more than the current 4%? I think they will. I mean, inflation hasn't really moderated that much. It's just my guess, but I don't think we're done yet. Section 417 does create spousal rights, but it's pretty limited in terms of what kind of consent is required for an in-service distribution. That is what this case yeah. said, is dominion and control is when it clears the draw e-bank because you can always stop payment. Several of these cases, the Oklahoma and the Iowa cases, both involve joint settlor trusts. And I've always been um, a critic of joint settlor trusts. I really don't know what they save other than paper. And they tend to spawn these cases typically after one of the settlor dies. If it's a spendthrift trust, you have to wait until the money gets into the hands of the beneficiary. The service has said, that's a frivolous position and I should not get to go to appeals despite the fact that appeals is generally available and that is a term of art used in the congressional history. One of the beneficiaries to argue that the share of their deceased sibling does not pass to the sibling's descendants under the anti-lap statute, rather it goes to the surviving of the two siblings. Again, I wanna stress, decanting and extrajudicial modification may not be the right way to go.